Never Would Have Made It was a song that kind of happened in a worship experience. It wasn't a song that I sat down and actually wrote. It was actually the Sunday after I buried my father. And that Sunday, for some strange reason, I actually thought that I was gonna be strong enough to come in and just preach like, you know, regular Sunday service. And I walked in the door and everything was normal. You know, everybody was functioning normally. And I broke down. I mean, I just really broke down crying. Next thing I know, I'm in the pulpit, just literally distraught. And we usually close out our service with an upper temple song that, that myself and some of the, the members of the church wrote called I'll Praise You. And, uh, but this particular Sunday, I walked up to the pulpit and I stopped them from doing everything that they were doing. And I just started singing those words. I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. I'd have lost my mind. But now I'll see how you've been there for me. And after this, I'm gonna be stronger, wiser, better. People think that I sat down and I just wrote it. And truth of the matter is, it just happened. I didn't even want to record it. And a whole lot of people don't know that, you know, when, because I never felt like it was an entire song. You know, it's never would have, never could have, stronger, wiser, better. That's the song. And uh, I actually wrote two verses and a bridge to it because my wife kept nagging and nagging and nagging about me recording the song. And uh, those two verses and, those, and that bridge, people will never hear uh, because it's, it's not necessary, I guess. She told me when I showed it to her, she said, you didn't took the oil off the song. You didn't took the oil off the song. Um, but it, it was a moment. And um, that moment happened 16 years ago. It's amazing that the song is still around and that it still resonates. It never would have made it, it always has impacted me for so many years. So it just seems like it's just full circle that I have an opportunity to work with a guy that actually sang that song that got me through some really, really tough and dark times. Never would have made it. It has impacted me personally and professionally. I used to run the record company that Marvin was signed to. So professionally, it, it benefited uh, me in that way. But personally, the song has really ministered to me over the years. It's like when I'm having those crazy times, those rough times where I don't think I can make it through, that song has gotten me through some incredible times. And I just love the song. And it's just, it's just from such a pure, heartfelt place. The pain in the song, like I feel it all. And it's, it's so, it just resonates with me every time like it's the first time I heard that song. Well, for this biopic, this song has impacted my personal life by never being able to get out of my head. I think about it all the time. <laughs> when you have a melody like this, and it's simple, with those kind of words, it's going to hit every time. Um, never thought I'd sing it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so, never thought I would make uh, another version of the song, and so uh, I am honored and privileged to have done that with this project. Number one, I never thought that Never Would Have Made It would have had this type of success simply because I didn't want to record it. The only reason why people heard this record is because my wife overruled me and demanded that I recorded it, especially because she was management and she was executive producing the project. People never would have heard that song if it was left up to me because I believe that God gave me that song for me. I would sing it around the house. I would sing it in the car. But I never... The only reason why people know this song is because of her. So if you were to ask me, did I think that this song would have the impact that it's had? Absolutely not. 48 weeks at number one, sold millions of copies, and it's simple. It's so simple. It's never woulda, never coulda, stronger, wiser, better. Yo, this is Marvin Sapp, and this is my story. It's actually told my way. Come to you this summer on TV One.